hello good day my subscribers my name is joseph ocheme the content creator of wireless hub channel now i'm going to show you a video of a modified electric motor and a non-modified electric motor this video i've been i've done this video in the past i just feel like i'm um, giving you guys this video so you can see the efficiency of my electric motor the electric motor actually consumes a lower lower amperage and uh, when comparing it with a normal conventional electric motor now electric motors are built originally to consume power that is why you notice that in every uh, electric motor label you look you you are going to see 75 percent efficiency some 80 percent efficiency what they are telling that it can't give you the hundred percent it can't give you the hundred percent that um that it's supposed to give you it can only give you 75 percent so normally a normal electric motor are built to consume energy they are built to consume energy so in our system we bring it above 100 percent efficiency whereby it can give you a cop that's what we call cop coefficient of performance so it can actually give you a coefficient performance of one you understand so this video we explain to you and we show you um what that video so i demonstrate a video whereby a an electric motor which is not modified and the electric motor which is modified now they are not carrying any load they are just only running just on normal running arms the same speed and everything you will notice that um the non-modifier actually consume higher because i tested it off from an inverter the inverter which i use is a 24 volt inverter please stay with me in this video because when when, when you watch so that you can have an idea of what is going on in the video so the inverter which i use was a 24 volt inverter the the non-modified one that is the normal one which is not modified will consume around 20 amps 20 amps so just times 20 20 times 24 you will know the watts it will give you why the standard one was consuming around while i was loading it loading it with um, just a stick and the rest of them it was consuming around six six um six amps six amps so times six amps times 24 you are going to see the watts so that's the difference between the modified and the non-modified and the modified the non-modified consume 20 amps the non the modified one consumes only six amps while i even apply a load just like a, a stick on it so tune to this video watch this video and see more about the video thank you so much subscribe to this video and please uh, there is a link down below if you want to apply for the online training please you can email me you can call my number basically you can whatsapp me and please don't fall to any scam of people telling you um yeah this is joseph this is joseph here talking so you either contact me through my email my email address which is fuelless hub fuelless hub at gmail.com fuelless hub at gmail.com so you call you guys can message me there then you can call my number 081-5609-4086 so that is the number which you come in they are displayed on the screen right here so please don't allow anyone to fool you let's go to the video thanks so here is the electric motor as you can see let me show you the specification is a 2.2 kilowatt 2.2 kilowatt this is a 3 horsepower motor currently spinning right now so you can see it is spinning and here is a is a 220 volts coming in here is the is the electric motor as you can see so it is spinning on that 2800 rpm so let me take the reading from the amperage as you can see i'm setting it to amps so as you can see is reading only 0 0.5 amps from a 220 supply this is a 220 supply from an inverter so as you can see here is 0 0.4 that is to say this electric motor on idle it is consuming 0 0.4 so let us apply a load let us apply a load to the shaft to see Let us apply a load. You can see. I'm 
applied a load on it. Let's read the other face. As you can see, also 0 0.5. So let's read from the inverter what it is consuming from the inverter. As you can see, it's consuming 4 amps on idle from the inverter. 4 amps, 4.1 amps on idle. So let's apply the let's put the machine on load to see what it will consume. To see what it will consume from you guys can hear the sound. As you can see, I'm, I'm applying a load. I'm applying I'm, I'm applying a load on the electric motor. So that is how this functions. This is a three horsepower motor that has been modified with all these configurations here that has been modified to consume a lesser amperage, a very very lesser amperage. So that is how the modification is as you can see once more a three horsepower motor thank you so much so as you can see here is a motor that is spinning here is a two horsepower motor that is spinning so i'm going to show you people the normal the normal way a normal electric motor two horsepower what it consumes on idle what this two horsepower is a two horsepower motor let me show you what it consumes on idle. Sorry. I'm actually running it from an inverter right now. So it's consuming four, 3.9 to 4 amps. As you can see, 2.9 to 3 amps. So let's this is the electric motor it is spinning right here so it is spinning right here let's check what it is consuming from the inverter it's consuming 20 amps 20 amps on idle on idle mode when it is not carrying load 20 amps five amps from the, the electric motor is consuming five amps which is equivalent to about 20 something amps 20 about 20 some like okay let's say it 20 amps right here so you guys can see this is a normal standard electric motor as you can see the inverter is want to shut down right now because wow 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 the inverter has shut down the load is too much the load is too much for the inverter to handle so here is a normal electric motor two horsepower consuming a lot of amperage on idle i've not put anything on the shaft so you can see the difference between the three horsepower motor and this normal two horsepower motor the three horsepower motor um is a configured electric motor so you can see the difference between the configurations. Hello to everyone. So you can apply for the online training. If you wish to apply for the online training, I do online trainings. I deal on electric motor modification. I deal on resistive load booster. I deal on low less tran transformer. And I also deal on the four less systems also. There are various ways which this can work effectively. So if you're interested for the online training to learn all these technologies, if you check my videos, there are lists of technologies that I have not just only one technology so please scroll to my channel my youtube channel you can see all my videos and if you are confused on where to see my youtube channel maybe you are coming across this video for the very first time please check the description below there is a link which i put there once you click the link it will take you down to all my videos that i've done all the, the videos all the videos that i've made in. so you can check out my works check out everything we are currently working on our websites we are, we are currently working on our website so once the web website we, um, is done it will be passed across to you so please and do subscribe to this video share this video to your friends and family so they can see so it's not just only this video click the link below so you can see all my videos i have various technologies and even the online training there are many people that have testified 
to these online trainings and teaching so you can scroll check my videos check my archives so i've been i've been around for past couple of four years now four years now so thank you don't forget to subscribe to this video bye have a nice day